Hey y'all, my name is Shauna and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my manga wrap up from December the 13th to December the 19th. So now we're a week free of the 25 days of manga. I am filming this on the 20th so there's only 5 days left so um yeah we're making progress. My bangle board is looking pretty good so at the end of the video I'll go ahead and update you on my bangle board. But otherwise let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so first book that I've ended up reading for this week is Manly Appetites, Minigushi, Minigishi Loves Otsu by Mito. And this is a office BL romance between Minigishi, who is our dapper dude of the blue suit here, and Otsu, who is our chubby guy right here. So this is a manga that is more of a comedy, um, looks like we are going to see a little bit more romance in the second volume hopefully and here's the back and it's just it's a fun manga it's celebrated food celebrated eating and celebrated love and I just really enjoy like just the simple expressions like Minigusei's little blushing moment here Otsu's little blushing moment here so really this is just a fun manga and um, Seven Seas is really killing it with their releases this year. I'm really impressed and I cannot wait until 2021 to see what else they release. Okay, so the next two books that I've read are 10 Dance Volume 3 and 10 Dance Volume 4. I read Volumes 1 and 2 last week and these two are just either getting better, the romance is getting up there, and for God's sake, can, can we just, can we just love on this cover and i love the back cover with their um partners which is i believe so it's yuki and yagami that's who's on the back and i just seriously look at those two look at those two look at those two suzuki you have my heart thank you but yeah this is just really fun and i have one more volume left until we're caught up with japan and i'm just so afraid to read it but i will read it this week but I'm afraid to read it. <laughs> okay, so next is another one that I am still currently reading. And that is Snow White with the Red Hair, Volume 7. And this is a historical fiction series about, you know, romance, character studies, and politics. And can we just appreciate the cover of Kiki and Matsui Matsuhide? Um, yeah, so this picks up on the arc from the last volume and then introduces us to a new arc. And I'm just really enjoying the ride of this series. Like, if somebody told me that I would really enjoy this at the beginning of the year, I would have just looked at them like they were crazy. But now I am definitely with the hype. And this series has actually been like one of the most popular ones for the 25 Days of Manga. Um, I was scrolling through the Twitter and I noticed that a lot of people are currently reading this series. So that's pretty awesome too. Okay, next is a look book that I got from my local library and that is my status as an assassin obviously exceeds the heroes by art by Hiroyuki Aigamo and story by Matsuri Akai with character designs by Tozai and this is a series that starts off with a group of students from Japan who ended up getting summoned to this world by a princess and her king and they summon them because one of them is a hero and he is destined to de um, to defeat the demon lord. And this is a, at first when I read this, I was like, oh my god, not another isekai. But it's actually a pretty funny one. I actually really enjoy our main character whose name is Ak Akira. Um, there's a cover page of him in his assassin clothes. And I just, um... This was just really fun and the way it ended, um, I really am ready to read volume 2. I believe this is based off of a light novel too, but yeah, so. Okay, so next up I read a mature manga, so please make sure that if you're under the age of 18, you did not pick up this manga, because it's not for you. And that is... Can an otaku like me really be an idol by Wakoko Wako? And this is a book that I was recommend that I watched the video of and I decided to get it. And the video was by Dylan from Dynamic Dylan. 
so thank you I guess this um this is obviously a BL, BL romance following um our young one of our guys his name is Suzuki and he's dressed as a taku idol and then you have his classmate Hayakawa and Hayakawa's dream is to get together and lose his virginity with an idol so that's what this book is about I'm not going to get too much in it because it's very adult content but yep can an idol like me really be in a talk Can it talk you like me really be an idol? Okay, so next book that I ended up picking up is actually a reread, and this is Kurocha Sana Stage by, by Miho Obama. And this is a contemporary story following a group of elementary school kids, so um, sixth graders, I believe they're 12, 11 or 12. And Sana is a um, TV star, and her school is currently. Her class is currently being overrun by a bully, so she's not getting much learning done, so she decides to challenge the bully to get him to stop disrupting class so she could learn. And it's a fun look at families, it's a fun look at relationship dynamics, it's a fun look at um, friendships, and this, this is a classic shoujo, and I... I, I absolutely love this series. This is my all-time favorite manga series out of everything I own. And it's just, it's so good. Like, I love, we have a family dynamic where um, our main antagonist, the bully named Akito Hayama, he is a, um, a child to a, a widowed father and an older sister and he has some really messed up family dynamics and then you have Sana who is the daughter of a famous writer and she also has a bodyguard named Ray who she says is her gigolo um, but don't, that gets covered in the volumes there's nothing going on it's very much a one-sided sweet little crush but um yeah this is this is just my favorite favorite manga it, it's very comedy but it also has some heavy heavy parts that are discussed in this too there's discussions on mental illness there's discussion on teen pregnancy there's this discussion on child abandonment child abuse um and it's just it's just a series that just keeps going on and on infertility is another one that is discussed these guys these guys are like this this paneling is my one of my favorites yeah so it's an older series that came out in the 90s but it is definitely worth it so if you ever able to find it second hand I would definitely suggest it otherwise this is unfortunately out of print and I, I could seriously just keep going on and on but I'm trying not to okay so next I read the final volume of the KCN series and it ends with Casey Sun and Cherry Blossom so now our two girls are graduated and now they are um, they are started their relationship in Tokyo while in college. And this book is mainly about them studying for exams, spending the winter holidays together and graduating and then going to Tokyo and spending time there. And it's just, there's the cute little chibis. And I'm just so glad that this manga series got picked up for, um, to continue on in their college years um like i really love this with casey sun giving um yamada some poinsettias and they're just it's just a really cute series and it's i mean it's girls love it girls how can you not love that i would definitely give this book a chance because it's just fluffy and cute and loving and this series is just so much fun and it brought me a lot of joy this winter. Okay, so the next manga I read is the Omnibus. It's the first free, it's the complete series of the free volumes of While at Heart by Natsumi Ando. And this is by the same creator as Kitchen Princess. And this is just fun. It's kind of like a Japan, like a Japanese Tarzan. Um, this girl's father goes on to an isolated island and finds a young boy and brings him back home. And it turns out the young boy has been stuck on the island since he was a kid. 
and it's it's just really it's a really fun really cute shoujo manga so I would definitely um if you could find it I will read I would definitely suggest you read in it but it's just it's typical cute drama cute shoujo and I'm just glad it is the complete series too but yeah it's also like the complete series so like here's part of the artwork so yeah, I would definitely suggest reading this if you can get your hands on it. It's a nice thick volume too. Okay, and the next volume that I ended up picking up is Goodbye My Rose Garden. And this is by... <laughs> I'm sorry, I, when I was writing this down I forgot and now I just remember. It is by Dr. Pepico. I'm sorry, that's hilarious. This is a historical romance um, book about a young English lady who um, who loves women but she kind of has to hide it. This is um, taking place right after um, when Oscar Wilde was in prison and I believe he died and so you have our young lady whose name is um, Alice and she's trying to hide that she loves women and she ends up meeting Hanako who is a um she ends up meet a Hanako who is a Japanese woman who had came all the way from Japan to submit her manuscript at a publisher and she really wants to meet a author who really had a change in her life I believe and the artwork is just really cute and I love how they are um I love their friendship and what's also interesting is that Alice says that she'll let Hanukkah meet this offer, but first she has to kill Alice. So Hanukkah takes her up on her offer that she will go ahead and, um, you know, kill Alice. So it just kind of goes on from there. It's more better if you just read it than follow the synopsis because it's so much more than just their bargain. It's more about their friendship and dealing with the fact that there are rumors flying around. The last physical manga that I ended up reading was Fire to His Fingers Tips. A flirty fireman ravishes me with his smoldering gaze. Um, after our main girl's house apartment catches a fire, she goes to live with her her childhood friend. Um, who is a fireman, but her childhood friend really loves her so he ends up ravishing her the first chance he gets. It just it's a constant thing that happens in this series where the girl is like you know I don't want to do this I don't want to be friends with benefits and that kind of thing so it's very smutty. I would suggest you not read in it if you're not 18 or you're not comfortable with smut because it is very graphic smut. I think the only thing that ticks me off about this is how weak they make the girls seem. Every 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 smut scene is always her losing control. It's like I really just want the guy to get those funny looks on his face. I do like the artwork though. Like the artwork is cute. Like I do like the artwork and I like the paneling. But I wasn't really a super fan of like the smut because I like a two-way street with smut, not a one-way street. Okay, the last two manga that I read are both e-manga. So the first one that I have read was Practice Makes Perfect Volume 2 by Yue Hanamiga Hayamiya. And this is about two adult Olympian athletes, one in volleyball and one in judo. And both of them are... Um, virgins and they decide that they're going to um, enter a relationship together where they practice intimacy with each other so that way they'll be prepared for when that moment comes but they ended up falling in love. And this volume was fun. It kind of explores further into the intimacy past kissing and hand and hold handing and cuddling. So it does um, get more steamy as the novel goes on but it was a fun read and I actually really enjoyed it and it's had a lot of funny moments like I'll go ahead and put a um, screenshot up here that I took of one of the funny moments but yeah it was really funny and the last volume I read was A Sign of Affection volume 1 by Sue 
Morishita and this follows a deaf college student and she is on the train and a foreigner asks her for um is trying to ask her something but obviously she's deaf so she can't really hear him and one of her classmates um intervenes and talks with the foreigner and heard her classmate kind of start a um a friendship and she slowly starts to fall in love with him and it was a really cute first volume like it had a lot of funny moments and it had a lot of cute moments that I'm really looking forward to reading on with the series and I also heard that it's getting a physical release soon so that's awesome to hear and, and talk about the challenges I completed on my bingo board this time so for the challenge of watch a manga adaption I ended up watching Saurazan Mai which is a um like this fantasy humorous anime about these three boys who break a kappa statue and up, end up getting turned by kappas by the kappa god and they have to fight these kappa zombies it's weird it's 11 I think it's like 11 or 13 episodes so it was really fun and I watched that after reading a manga adaption of after reading the manga adaptions of Sarazama, Ryo, and Mabu, which is a kind of like alternative series, so this was really fun. And I also managed to cross off read a steamy manga, manga to make you melt with fire in his fingertips because that's how can you get any more steamier than that? Cross off a couple of other ones from last week that I forgot to bring up. So Christmas tree and star i crossed off with 10 dance volume one and a cozy sweater i crossed off with spy for spy x family volume three and someone on a naughty list i crossed off with how do we relationship volume one and i also managed to cross off rita jose with a sign of affection so yeah i got bingo on the first row i'm happy <laughs> But yeah, so I'm going to try to get blackout for the next five days. And yeah, so if you have read any of these manga or you have achieved blackout, let me know below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys later. Bye!